I'm Bebuf. How are you guys doing? All right, so uh, I'm here to talk about maker spaces and uh, in specific, maker's asylum. OK, thank you. In specific, maker's asylum. So one second, let me get used to this in a second. OK. Uh, who changes the world? It's not scientists, it's not researchers, it's actually makers. And people who tinker and create things. Okay, enough of that. So, creations around various maker spaces. So, basically, maker spaces is uh, something, whatever. The maker movement started somewhere around in 2006. And uh, they created these bunch of spaces around the world where people, all the way from artists to architects to engineers, come together and create things. It's a place where collaboration can happen. So, uh, these are some of the things that have come out from maker spaces in Boston. Uh, that's 3Doodle. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. It's a 3D printing pen. Then we have iNetra. That's the company that I'm currently working for. We're building a device to give you an eye test using a smartphone. Uh, started off from Artisans Asylum in Boston. And uh, now we're almost ready for production starting in March. Another one is the Stompy robot, which is an eight, six-legged robot that you can sit on top of and ride. It's uh, completely meant for fun, but the fact that somebody can dream big and make something like that happen is amazing. Um, we have the Pebble Watch, they're tied up with Mercedes now, gained about $10 million in funding. So good stuff is happening. Uh, MakerBot 3D printers also started at a maker space outside of New York. And uh, now they're all over the world, everyone knows about them. They're printers that are pretty cheap, but you can do a lot of cool stuff. Even in India, we're having some good stuff come out, like uh, Lechal. This, uh, these are shoes with sensors and vibrators for the blind. So uh, it guides you by vibrating on which leg uh, to turn. So if your left leg vibrates, you turn left. If your right leg vibrates, you turn right. So good thing for the blind. Another one for the blind is Fittle. Uh, it's a puzzle. And you can read on Braille and align them together, uh, solve the puzzle, feel the shape around it and also uh, understand what the meaning of it is. So another thing for the blind. Bioscience, another startup in Mumbai, they're making other cool stuff with smartphones and for lab equipment. So if you have everything, what's missing? Uh, cross your communication, uh, collaboration. So there's no place where people from, uh, like you guys, uh, management background people, or artists, or engineers can all get together and create stuff. There's, uh, that stuff is lacking, collaboration is lacking. There's uh, no hands-on experience. There's no place where you guys can go and use your hands on stuff, uh, like making anything, a small prototype of any product that you've talked about in any of your classes. Uh, because of that, there's a feeling of unqualified inside, which uh, stops you from making better and more global products. And there's also lack to, a lack of exposure to uh, technology, stuff, as th uh, stuff like 3D printers and laser cutters. They're expensive and it's hard for an ind individual to own. So the, the way we planned to solve this problem was Maker's Asylum. It's a place where you can come and collaborate and uh, the equipment's there, everything's over here, and you guys come and you use the equipment and make things, whatever you want. How did it start? Literally, the wall behind Ainetra's office in Mumbai fell down. Uh, there was a gypsum wall, everything collapsed. It was a complete disaster for a couple of days. And now we had to rebuild it. So to rebuild it, what I did was I just went on Facebook and everything and asked random people to come together and help me make a table. And now it looks something like this. Another small place, but not made by me, made by people like you. Everyone just came over there and we created it. Collaboration happened, designing happened. And we have a bunch of equipment, all of it. Again, by collaboration, everyone got together, bought this stuff, and we have a completely functional workshop. It's about five, 600 square feet right now. Uh, enough space for uh, small things to prototype, but what we're looking at is making bigger stuff. So these are some of the creations that have happened over there. We do everything from woodworking to uh, electronics to robotics. Uh, it's about three weeks old now, so we're still pretty young. And initially, uh, the initial couple of members, and over here you can see that we have every, uh, people from various backgrounds, all the way from engineering to architects to high school students. So anyone's welcome. Prospective members, we have over 200 people on Facebook. We have a bunch of people signing up on our meetup group, over 100 people already. And we also went for MakerFest 
and we talked to made a make a fest and what we instead of showing what we have done instead of that we took a bunch of equipment to make a fest in Ahmedabad and uh, what we did was we set up a couple of tables and asked people to come over there and create things so uh, you can see on the top left corner there's a photograph of a father teaching a daughter how to make pipe lamps or people making electronic gadgets over there and this was all happening in an open space, people were coming and creating stuff. So this movement is coming along. It's uh, great. And I hope more of these places come out. But to take this thing forward, what are my aims and objectives for this is that we want to create a place again, like I said, to collaborate. Uh, we want to give a physical space. We want to get a group of uh, mentors and people from universities to come over there and teach people and take their small idea from one piece to maybe 10,000 or go uh, uh, teach them how to use the tools and take away the fear of making stuff and implementation. Uh, how do I keep this sustainable? So of course, you guys are all business people. Uh, we're going to conduct workshops. Workshop gives money, uh, monthly membership fees. Apart from that, all these companies that are born over there, this is going to be the main source of where uh, companies are being born, uh, small startups, hardware startups. So if you guys or anyone is right there at the source, it's easy to see what's happening and the team and fund them and angel invest in them and kind of uh, see how they grow and help them out at the seed stage so they can make something big and you make money out of it. Uh, what do we need? Uh, first thing, we need some advice on how to take this forward. Apart from that, if in terms of investment, if any of you guys have a two to 5,000 square foot area lying around, that'll be awesome. Uh, tools and equipment, investment in terms of that would be also awesome. We love donations. Uh, we Also, marketing and branding and a website and stuff we're looking to do. Uh, prospectively, we'll have a space something like this, a bunch of collaboration space and a bunch of tools and workshop going around everywhere. Uh, yeah, a couple. That's it. Thank you.